Hey everybody, I'm Brandon72mo. Welcome to an update of my 99 car, $45 million garage tour. If you want to see your own garages featured on my channel, send a tweet at Brandon72mo with the hashtag garage tour. If you enjoy this video, please hit that like button. I've recently reorganized my garages, getting rid of some cars and acquiring some new ones. Today, we're going to look at 7 vehicles that I sold off and the 7 that have replaced them, as well as one bonus vehicle that are all worth roughly $4.5 million. Now, let's get to the cars. Up first are the cars that I got rid of, listed in the order that they have appeared in my previous Garage Tour videos. Gone are the rare NPC modified Blue Sand King XL and Gold Dubs 2 from part 1 of this series. From part 4, the Shafter Long Wheelbase is gone. From part 6, I've said goodbye to the Super Diamond, the Cognoscenti, and the Baller LE Long Wheelbase. And finally, from part 7, the Chino Custom is gone. I always have a tough time deciding on what cars to get rid of, but for these, the choice was made either because they were duplicates of something else I already owned, had terrible performance that resulted in them just sitting around and collecting dust, or had some annoying game coding bug that I just couldn't tolerate any longer. Now let's look at the vehicles that have replaced them. Up first is the somewhat rare Mariachi Tornado. I'll be uploading a video soon showing you how to get this car in GTA Online, so if you want one of these cars, be sure to check out that video. Honestly, this car is a piece of junk. It's a lot slower than the regular Tornado, it has a permanent engine rattle, and it's fairly beat up. Also, you can't get any upgrades for this car at all. In fact, the only thing you could do with it in Los Santos Customs is fit it with a tracker and buy insurance. This thing can't even get bulletproof tires. But it's rare. And there is something cool about an old beater with some guitars and a sombrero in the back seat. The second new car is the Cheval Picador. Is it a car or is it a truck? How about a cruck? That works. No matter what you call it, I've always had a soft spot for this strange beast. Aside from paint and wheels, there's not a lot to customize on the Picador, but that's okay because it looks great just as it is. It's nowhere near the quickest muscle car, but it does have surprisingly good traction. Out of all the new cars that I've picked up lately, I find myself driving the Picador the most. And I've been pleasantly surprised by the number of times fellow GTA Online players say, Hey, nice car. The Vapid Bobcat XL is up next in this update to my $45 million garage tour. I don't know how long I'll keep the Bobcat, but I'm enjoying it while I can. Trucks seem to hold a very special place in my GTA Online car collector heart, so this was an easy choice when deciding what to steal next from the streets of Los Santos. Just like nearly every other car in this update video, the Bobcat is rather slow when compared to everything else in its class. It does have a trailer hitch though, making it one of only a few vehicles perfect for those times when you just have to steal a boat on a trailer. Up next is the Declassy Tornado Custom. This is not the same car that you saw in my Tornado Custom DLC video. In fact, this car began life as one of the rusted out tornadoes that you see sometimes roaming the streets of Los Santos. These rusted versions provide some really unique paint colors when they're upgraded at Benny's, and I have a quick tip video coming soon to show you how you can get these rare paint colors. I went with a rather understated design for this car, and in all of my travels through GTA Online, I have yet to see any other Tornado Custom design quite like mine. You all know by now that I love having unique cars, so I'm particularly proud of how my Tornado rolls with a classy yet unique design. Before we move on to the next vehicles in this update video, I want to remind you that you can have your own garages featured in my channel by sending a tweet at Brandon72mo and including the hashtag Garage Tour. I'm an absolute gearhead, so I love looking at and talking about cars. If you enjoy cars as much as I do, I'd love to feature your garages. Also, keep an eye out for an upcoming video in this series featuring all of my Pegasus vehicles and yachts, as well as further updates to my garages as I get new cars. If you want to see all those vehicles, keep those likes coming! Number 5 is the Vapid Minivan Custom. If you saw my Minivan Custom video, you'll already know the backstory to this van and why I call it the Pimp Van. If you don't, make sure you check out that video. 
I have to admit, as much as I love my pimp van, I was very disappointed by the lack of upgrade options available for it. I really hoped to see some over-the-top visual modifications, but instead had to make do with a livery and a few chrome trim pieces. Rockstar really dropped the ball on this one, but it's okay, because I still love my pimp van. Next up is the Declassy Saber Turbo Custom. You've already seen this car in my Saber Turbo Custom update video, even though I have redesigned it since then. And you've already heard my rant about how disappointed I've been in Rockstar's laziness lately. What you haven't heard, unless you follow me on Twitter, is how this car has ruined the muscle car class when it comes to racing. Before the Saber Turbo Custom, the muscle class was really well balanced, offering several top tier cars that you could choose from to suit your driving style while remaining competitive. The Sabre Turbo Custom has wrecked all of that, however, by turning in a lap time two seconds quicker than any other muscle car. On one hand, it's about time that one of these outrageously expensive lowriders receives some major performance upgrades. On the other hand, it's disappointing that Rockstar didn't take an approach that would have at least kept some balance in the muscles class. Oh well, I guess we'll all be racing in Sabre Turbo Customs from now on. Our next vehicle is the Dundry Virgo Custom Classic. This lowrider took several people by surprise, simply because some of the rumor-based YouTube channels misled everyone into thinking that it was the Albany Virgo that was going to receive the lowrider treatment. I really feel bad for anyone who bought the Albany expecting to upgrade it, but if you did, then I hope you'll take notice and stop believing everything you see on YouTube. Those rumor channels usually have bad information and are more often than not just flat out wrong in their predictions. At any rate, the Virgo Custom Classic is yet another car that you've already seen on my channel. This lead sled won't win any races, but it sure is pretty in pink. And finally, the bonus vehicle for today's video is the Vapid Slam Van Custom Classic. Oh my god, I love this truck. I already owned the Slam Van because I loved its classic pickup truck looks. But as a lowrider, my love for this thing has been turned up to 11. It finally has decent traction to help it go around a corner, and even though it takes a while to get moving, it could pile on some serious straight line speed. Just don't expect it to stop in a hurry, because it still has terrible brakes. I think this truck is gorgeous, and I absolutely love the seemingly unending ways that it can be customized. The Slam Van Custom is, hands down, my favorite car yet to show up at Benny's. So there you go, 7 new vehicles and 1 bonus truck worth roughly $4.5 million in this update to my 99 car, $45 million garage tour. Remember to drop a like if you enjoyed this video and this series. And don't forget to look for new GTA Online Garage Tour videos as I get new cars, as well as a special video that will feature my yachts and Pegasus vehicles. Don't forget, you can have your garage featured in a video on my channel by simply sending a tweet at Brandon72Mo and including the hashtag Garage Tour. You can also check out all of the videos in my 99 car, $45 million garage tour playlist. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to follow me on social media, Brandon72Mo on both Twitter and Facebook. And come hang out with me on the Vainglorious forums at btyb.freeforums.net. I'm Brandon72Mo, and I'll see you in the next video.